In this video, we're going to show an example of a very common application of the average rate of change called prediction and interpolation. So let's look at this example. In 2002, 35.9% of tax returns were filed electronically, and in 2008 it was 59.8%. And so the first question asks us for the average rate of change from 2002 to 2008. And we know how to do this. Remember, the formula for the average rate of change is given by f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a. So in this case, our a and our b are the years 2002 and 2008. So let's call b 2008, and let's call a 2002. So f of 2008 is what percent of tax returns were filed electronically in 2008. And if we read up on the top, we see that it's 59.8%, which we'll just write as 59.8 minus f of a, which is 35.9%. That's how many tax returns were filed electronically in 2002. So we end up with 59.8 minus 35.9 divided by 2008 minus 2002. So on the top, that works out to be 23.9, and then at the bottom, 2008 minus 2002, that's 6. And on our calculators, dividing 23.9 by 6 works out to be around 3.98. And again, given the story and the problem here, the units would be percent per year. The top of our fraction represents percentages, and the bottom represents years, so the units are going to be percent per year. So we're going to have to remember that number going forward to answer the, the next parts. So in part B here, we want to predict what percentage of tax returns will be e-filed in 2015. And to answer this question, we need to understand what the average rate of change that we just figured out represents. What it tells us what it tells us is that every year the percentage of tax returns that are filed electronically is going up by 3.9%. So that means that every year we can expect that the percentage should go up by that amount. So we know that in 2008 that percentage was 59.8%. So by the time we get to 2015, this is just an approximation, but we think that this should approximately be equal to that 59.8% plus 3.98 a bunch of times. Every year from 2008 to 2015, the percentage should go up by 3.98. So that means that since there are seven years between 2008 and 2015, we think that this should go up by 3.98 times 7. So it should go up 3.98 seven times. And that 7 comes from taking 2015 minus 2008 to find out how many years there were in between. And when we work all that out on our calculators, that works out to be 87.66%. And that's our prediction. Now let's look at an interpolation problem. So the difference between interpolation and prediction is that a prediction asks us to make an estimate that's beyond the data that we have. We have data from 2002 to 2008, and then we had to make a prediction about what would happen in 2015. This is an interpolation because we want to find an estimate that's in between the data that we have. So we want to estimate how many returns were e-filed in 2006. Since 2006 is in between 2002 and 2008, we give it a different name. We call it interpolation. But the solution method is going to be pretty much the same. Remember, we've got that average rate of change of 3.98% per year. And we're going to solve this pretty much the same way. So instead of starting at 2008 and going forward, since 2006 is sort of before 2008, let's start at 2002 and go forward. So we know that 2002, our percentage was 35.9%. And so we're going to make a guess as to what 2006 is going to be. But again, the average rate of change tells us that every year that passes, the percentage of e-filed returns goes up by 3.98. So from 2002 to 2006, since that's four years, we expect that the percentage should go up by 3.98 four times. So our approximation, our interpolation, is going to be 35.9 plus that 3.98 times four. And again, that four is the difference from 2006 minus 2002. That's how we know that there are four years from 2006 to 2002. And when we work that on our calculator, we get 51.82%. And that's our answer. 